Despite suspected manufacturing challenges, Apple has started ramping up display production for the iPhone 15 lineup, with shipments estimated to be greater than the iPhone 14 series. Every model in the iPhone 15 lineup is expected to feature a dynamic island, complicating display production. According to prior rumors, LG Display was having trouble making tiny bezeled hole punch screens. A new report from Display Supply Chain Consultants contradicts this report, stating that LG Display has overcome these early production issues and display orders have ramped up, with iPhone 15 component orders exceeding iPhone 14 orders for the June to August period tracked by the report. It seems that LG Display was especially experiencing trouble cutting out the holes for the selfie camera and Face ID components, resulting in growing black patches. A new procedure was adopted to eliminate problems by effectively constructing a dam around the cutout. The story highlighted additional information regarding the iPhone 15 lineup, such as Apple's projected $100 price rise for each model. The reported increase in display size and the impending USB-C connector, as well as the history of DSCC and Ross Young, lend credence to this narrative. Apple is anticipated to introduce the iPhone 15 lineup during an event in September, according to our ranking of plausible rumors based on supply chain data. It would feature the iPhone 15, 15 Plus, iPhone 15, and iPhone 15 Pro. To forecast the iPhone 15 launch date, look at previous events and their release dates. Trends usually the iPhone 14 was announced on September 7, and three out of four models were available for purchase beginning September 16, with the iPhone 14 Plus arriving later. Apple typically chooses the first or second week of September for its annual iPhone event, favoring Tuesdays but occasionally choosing Wednesdays. If Apple reveals the iPhone 15 lineup on October 7 and the iPhone 15 small isn't there, I believe it's enough evidence that the phone, at least as a flagship model, is officially gone, but since we have a chance of it becoming the next iPhone SE. The iPhone SE is typically upgraded in the spring, and Apple updates every few years. Finally, what are your thoughts about it? So without been said let me know your thought in the comment below, and if you are new here please subscribe peace out.